Hello. Let me tell you some things you should do and some things you shouldn't do. You should do your homework every day. You should brush your teeth. You should read a book every week. Do you have to? No, you don't have to. Do you have to brush your teeth every day? Well, you don't have to, but it's a good idea, right? You should. Uh, and the opposite, you shouldn't. You shouldn't smoke cigarettes. They're very bad. You shouldn't drink too much coffee. You get a headache. Right? You can smoke cigarettes. You can drink coffee, but maybe you shouldn't. It's a bad idea, right? So a good idea, you should. Bad idea, you shouldn't. Okay, that's the grammar point today. We're going to do a speech about speaking English. Why should you speak English? Look, number 38. Why should you speak English? Because I don't want to pass my tests. That's true, but it's not the best reason. The best reason is so you can communicate, maybe. I don't know. Let's have a look. Right. I've got seven points here, right? Let's see. We're going to do the why speak English. Number one, I'll give you this and you can think of your own ideas, right? Why should you study English? There are three reasons why you should. Firstly, because it's the top international language. Number one, much better than French. Oh, yes. Secondly, because many movies are made in English. And thirdly, because you can use it to travel around the world. If you speak English, you can speak to almost anybody. Do you have to speak perfect English? No, you don't. Because communication is the goal. That's my speech. Isn't that beautiful? Wasn't it wonderful? Right. What should you do? What shouldn't you do? Okay. If you have a look, here are some examples of using should and shouldn't. And I want you to write down about the language you want to talk about. Now, you can say, why should you speak English? I think that's a good topic. Everybody has to learn English in Japan. Tell me why you should. Okay. And when I speak to you, you can give me all the information. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, where am I in the world? You see lots of different colours, lots of blue. This is actually what we call a shanty town or a slum where poor people live just here. But it's actually a very powerful, strong uh, city with lots of high-tech industry. If I tell you it's in India, do you know? It's also the home to the Indian movie industry. It's Mumbai used to be called Bombay. Mumbai is what it's called now. Uh, there you are. I'd like to visit one day. Would you?